Okay everyone, we verified you can use three methods to play Elden Ring Night Rain on your Mac, and each has its advantages over the others, which we'll outline in this video. We recommend watching everything even if you know what you want to use, because we'll also add in some useful tips how to get the best out of every method. But first, we need to get something important out of the way. Why would anyone prefer cloud gaming over local play? The main reasons in my opinion are the ease of use, the convenience, and the ability to play with much better performance on weaker machines. The local methods work mostly okay for Night Rain, but there are still instances where users report being unable to start the game. That's why I can't promise you the local solutions will work for everyone. Now let's talk specifics. The first option we'll talk about is Boosteroid, a cloud gaming platform. So is cloud gaming with Boosteroid even worth it, or is it just a laggy mess? In my experience, services like Boosteroid are perfectly fine for playing Elden Ring Night Rain, provided your internet connection isn't total trash. Obviously, there's bound to be some minimal delay when using cloud gaming, but from what I've seen in Boosteroid, the delay is so negligible that even Night Rain, a game that requires split-second timing, plays really well. As for the visual quality of the stream, Boosteroid is actually ahead of the curve here, as it offers both the cheapest and least bandwidth-heavy way to stream your games at 4K and 120 FPS. It's a pretty good package all things considered, so it's one of the methods we recommend the most. Using Boosteroid is super simple. Just click the link in the description and register. You can even use your Google account. Then you'll need to get a paid subscription, but I first recommend checking your internet connection to the closest Boosteroid server. This will give you a good idea of what streaming quality to expect and if this service will work well for you. Decided you want to give it a try? Then go to your profile and click the subscribe button to begin your subscription to Boosteroid. Then simply find the game in the search bar and launch it. Boosteroid is currently the only cloud streaming service that supports the AV1 codec as a feature, which is incredibly useful because it uses up to 50% less bandwidth than older formats. This effectively lowers the internet speed requirements while streaming with Boosteroid through your browser, which means that even if you've got a weak connection, you'll still get a smooth stream and crisp image quality. Or you can just bring the image quality up if you've got good internet. Out of the local play solutions, Crossover's the best one, but this doesn't mean it's without any flaws. On my tests using an M2 Max MacBook Pro, I managed to get up to an average of around 80 FPS. Obviously, that's using lowered settings, but still perfectly acceptable. Weaker Macs, though? The game will still be playable on something like an M2 Pro MacBook with 16 gigs, but anything lower is just not worth the hassle. Also, it's worth noting that you'll be limited to the offline version of the game. If you want to play with friends, you'll have to use the seamless co-op mod, which we'll link in the description. All things considered, Crossover is a good option if you've got a powerful machine. Think an M2 Pro chip and above. Now here's how to get it going. For Crossover, follow the respective link below, register, and either purchase the app or go for its 14-day free trial, which is what I recommend. After Crossover downloads, launch it, install the app, and create a new bottle from the bottle menu. Then go to Install, find Steam, and install it in the new bottle. Steam will start automatically, so close it and enable D3D Metal and eSync. Now the game is installed, but you won't run it through Steam. Instead, open the bottle C drive and go to the game's directory. Once there, rename the Start Protected Game to Start Protected Game Backup, and then rename the Night Rain EXE to Start Protected Game. Then, every time you want to launch the game, open this EXE file to start instead of launching it through Steam. Whiskey is Crossover's free but jankier cousin. It technically works on the same principle as Crossover, but it's no longer supported by its dev, and it's prone to encountering more bugs and errors. Honestly, its sole draw is its $0 price tag, but everything else about it is just worse. In the case of Elden Ring Night Rain, it actually works fine for the time being, but be warned, this is likely to change in the future as Whiskey becomes more and more outdated. Now to set this up, first download the latest version of the Whiskey app from the provided link below and extract the zip file in your applications folder. Then you must create a new bottle with Windows 10 or 11 compatibility, then download an older version of Steam for Windows by clicking the respective link in the description. Then click Run, open the installer, and install Steam in the Whiskey bottle. Once Steam is installed, launch it, find the game, and download it. To start playing, you'll first need to perform the EXE renaming step I showed you in the crossover section, and then launch the game through that file and not from Steam. So that's it for today's video. For more content on Mac gaming, be sure to check our channel. Till next time!